Hey man. Car building Nick is here. Yay. Yay. Which is handy. Because we're going to try and get the steering column, which we modified last weekend, into the rack. Yes. That is shiny. Car building Nick has just seen the pedals. Pedals. That's amazing. They look so cool. They do look legit. They make it look like an actual project. Yeah. Jeez. I know. Not bad, eh? Not bad. Once we've got this column in, that could well be the rest of the morning's work. That is tasty. Because we need another bracket. It's only on, on yeah. one bracket. So, Jeez. and as you can see, the engine mount's been relegated to the footwell yeah, well, because it's a start it's in the car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, unfortunately. The mounting engine mount and the steering column take up the same space. So anyway, right, I'm going to go back under the car, dude, and what then you this can. This bit I'm undoing, yeah. Yeah, just those nuts, and <laughs> so there's a lot of innuendo. So okay. if you if you loosen your nuts, loosen the nuts, and then pull your shaft back, pull my shaft, and then I can get hold of the very tip of your shaft, <laughs> guide it in the hole, guide it into the hole, the right hole, the correct hole, yeah. So right, I'm going under, as it were. Right, we're under the car, and, and this isn't awkward to film at all. Oh. So it would appear, while I was checking to see if the, um, hang on a sec, just hold him there, the alternator fits. I was having a bit of a panic. It does, by the way, just. Um, the alternator is now in my way, so give me two seconds just to whiz the alternator off. Right, take two. Hopefully this time, more success. <laughs> yeah, he's stuck on the chassis. Um, aim him up. Uh, yeah, give him a little pushy. He's got. He's nearly there. Can you straighten him out? I can't get my arm in, mate. I don't think. Okay. Um, I, I could take the exhaust manifold off, but we kind of need that to check the clearance yeah, of the yeah, shaft. Okay. Aha, yes, okay, down. Yes, perfect, right, stop there. Am I actually filming the knob? There we go, right. Now let's see if we can get this guy on here. Right, hang on a sec. Oh, like a glove. Now, does it bolt up inside is the big question. Well, he does on the little internal ones. Okay. The ones further down. But? but. Going, I, need, I need like another bolt that goes on there. Huh. So hang on a sec, let's make sure it's seated it's seated all the way down. Now, do you need to come oh, oh, hang on. you got him? I'm, I'm going to come up and see what you're doing for a second. Hang on a sec. I'm going straight, so I put it on at an angle, and then, then yeah, those ones at the end will go on, and then. Yes. Is he good? Yeah, look at that. He's on down here. I I stopped filming for a second and was just actually watching you, so I was just like I think filming your feet for a sec. But that's okay. <laughs> so it's on at those ones down there. Yep. Which is good. Winner. And he's also so on. You just need. Do you want um, on is there? Your thirteen, is he that right? Oh, he's going on. This one's a little bit more stubborn. One stubborn nut. Yes. There you are. Perfect. He is on and good. Right. Um, if you just take your nut off. Take my big nut off. Chunk that on there for a sec. Yeah, that's that's your one. Right, two seconds. Steer the car. <laughs> Except the the, uh, the rack isn't attached to the wheels. Oh. But but yes, essentially you are. Hang on a second. Oh, it's majestic. I mean, it's just a steering rack, really. Um, go for it. Yeah, good. Other way. <laughs> Winner. 
Okay, right, hold him there a sec. Well, no, I mean, I dare say it's very light without any um, without any wheels attached. Right, let me um, let me check the bolt in this. There he is. And then we can start looking at the first major problem. Right, hold it there for a sec. Make sure this does up well. Right, that fits brilliantly in the sense that it actually fits at all. However, you can't see it from here. Let's see if we can't get up there slightly. I feel like a slight scraping there. I don't know if it's just... Um, what was that about a scraping, mate? I can hear a little scrape. Yep, keep doing that, mate. And uh, I'll show you exactly what it is in a second. Through the steering wheel. Can you? Yeah. Yeah, do you want to know what it is? Uh, it's um, got to be part of the engine mount, I think, is it? Exhaust manifold. Ah. Oh, yeah, we haven't even put the engine mount back in yet. Oh, yeah, of course. Mmm. Yeah. yeah, there's one there as well. Yeah. Right, I'm going to show you exactly what that is. So, the scraping that we can feel through the steering column is the column touching the exhaust manifold. In fact, it's so close, it's taken the paint off. Um, so I would say in terms of clearance, that's not enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I keep going, it will be. Yeah, keep <laughs> going till we wear the shaft down. Um, I mean, I don't know how close we can put the steering column to the exhaust manifold, but touching is, I would say, an absolute no. <laughs> so, you know, that's really, that's the next problem. Um, <laughs> I've got two ideas. Okay. The first, and I think we do them in this, this order, I'm just gonna get your, get your reaction now. We take the manifold off. Yep. We heat it up with a torch. Yeah. You, you, you're not focused, I'm gonna focus on your face. And we beat him with a hammer. <laughs> okay, the hammer approach. Yeah, okay. so we just, we just take an adjuster and we just adjust the shit out of him. <laughs> yeah, the persuader. Yep. The second right. option, and I think if that doesn't work, <laughs> yeah, we make a manifold from scratch. Right. With the with the space, with, with the pre, pre with the available space. Yeah. Hammer. So oh. mad, mad, mad manifold. Mods. Yeah. <gasps> so okay. that to me looks like gas torch and hammer time. Option two, of two point one, would surely be grind a little bit of the manifold that you've got out and re replate it with a gap. So you don't make a whole one from scratch. So I'm gonna get, cut a circle out. Cut a circle out. And then turn him the other way. Yes. That's like that, that spider thing. Yeah. What's one of those? <laughs> Dead one of those, yeah. Um, <laughs> so we cut out a cup and then flip him around. Yeah. That's probably more trouble than making a whole manifold. Surely not. No, I was going to say that's more precise than just beating it with a hammer. Well, yeah. And I've got a hole saw. Yeah. Let's do it. What are we going to do? Let's hit it with a hammer. Let's give it a little test smack. I reckon. Nice. He's steaming. Yeah, it's pretty hot. Okay, go. Well, that does work. It does work, doesn't it? Yep. Well, that's going very well. That's actually going better than I thought it would. Also, we're heating up metal and shaping it with a hammer, so now we're blacksmiths. <laughs> so that's also called Com common skill needed. Yeah. On car build. Okay. So, then it, can you see? Can you see what you can see? I think so. We've uh, we've changed the profile a fair bit. It now dips in quite nicely. That's still not huge clearance, to be fair. 
and actually I don't think heating up the manifold and beating the hell out of it with a hammer is the final solution. I think the final solution is going to be buy or make like proper tubular manifolds. But for the purposes of getting the car running and testing it and you know doing those kind of things, yeah. it, this will have It'll to do. It'll work. The manifolds will be wrapped and we'll get some heat protection on the, the, the steering rack as well. So. Sure be fine. It's got two choices. Well, it's got two choices. It will either be fine or it will not. <laughs> and let's hope it doesn't fail while we're going around a corner. Definitely. Yeah. I think a little bit more beating, especially just mm. here yeah, yeah. and here. Um, and to be honest, if you look at the original manifold, this is really hot by the way now. Yeah. Yeah. This is from, I don't, can you see that? I'm yeah. not going to. The, these divots are from factory. Yeah. Where they've bent the, the tube up. So it's not so, well built in the first place. You it? know, it's it's got it's got holes all over it. It's probably why these manifolds are, are not very good and people <laughs> change them to uh, to get more power. Because mm. it does look like a heap of shit. <laughs> it looks even worse now. Yeah, it looks even worse now. <laughs> but it just has to work. It just right. it just has to work while we test the car. So. Awesome. Right, more beating. More beating.